love that I can edit this out my uh, coughing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello from Prospect Park, I'm Nadia, this is The Rundown. Today I'm going to go be meeting up with Colin Moss. He is an actor and he's also a fellow South African who's been living here in New York. So let's go find out more. Colin! <laughs> Hello! How are ya? Good, how are you doing? <laughs> are you ready to go for a run? Let's do it. Yes. In right. Prospect Park! Yeah. Right? I mean, this is, the, this is a cool park. This is a way better park than Central Park. In, oh, in wait. No, no, no. We have to have a bit of no. a disagreement there. No. Uh, <laughs> no, this is the park. <laughs> I'm a Central Park gal. Nah. Prospect Park rules. I'll tell you why. This park was designed by Holmes Devin Vaughan. It's as the for guys. Central Park. I know, I know. But, but here's the thing. They did this one second. Okay, so they okay. learned... <laughs> so they, like, they ironed out all the kinks <laughs> and all the stuff they didn't get to do in Central Park, they did in this park. So this is, this is obviously the better part because okay. the second one is always better. <laughs> and it's in Brooklyn. You've been I mean, here three years. What do you like about New York? <laughs> oh man, I love the fact that you constant, constantly feel like you're at the center of the universe. <laughs> I love that feeling. That you're surrounded by excellence. Mm -hmm. That you're surrounded by people at the top of the game. Which means you're always up against the best. And that's why making it in this town is so much more difficult than anywhere else. Well, Blue Eyes was right. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. <laughs> it means that you've, that you've won out against the best in the world. Yeah. And, and there's a special feeling to that. You know, every, every job that I book here, I know I've gone up against the best that the world has to offer. And hey, so not only the best, also the most suited to the world. Obviously, <laughs> that comes into it. But... There's a, a wonderful sense of achievement. More so for every for every step that you make, there's a great sense of achievement. Yeah. And then I love New Yorkers. <laughs> I think New Yorkers are the coolest people on the planet. If there was a tsunami and half of the city was underwater, New Yorkers would like go outside and swim to work. <laughs> you know? So true. Yeah. As we go through this wind, <laughs> you talk about Looking gigs and rolls. Oh! <laughs> Wendy! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's nice and icy too, right? It comes straight off the Hudson and hits us. It's blowing in this direction. Oh, okay, you talk about booking rolls. Yeah. You've had some really cool ones so far. Yeah, I've been lucky. Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. Black Mirror. Yeah, actually, Black Mirror, I didn't book here. I booked that in Cape Town. And The Deuce. And the and Maggie Deuce. Maggie Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal. Yeah, that was, that was a particularly special one. Why so? I've always been a big David Simon fan. Yes. You know, I just think that he's awesome and The Wire was like yeah. such an incredible series. Straight. And he always makes real groundbreaking television. Yeah. And then, as it turned out, I didn't realize when I first booked the job, but when I got onto set, suddenly James Franco is there, who of course is stars in the deal. Yeah, he plays Trent. Right. Yeah. But I wasn't having know? a scene with him, so I was like, what the hell is he doing in the room? <laughs> so, he directed, I think, only one, maybe two apps. And, and it was yours? It was mine. So I got to work with James Franco as a director, which was great. That credit has opened up so many more doors for me. Yeah. You know, and I'm being seen for much bigger roles now. That's great. How often do you run? And, you know, were you running back home in South Africa? Is it something you picked Funnily up enough, here? no, not as much. I, mean, I used to, I used to like run on the promenade. In, in Cape Town? Definitely started running more. So I've um, become much more serious about it since I've been here. Yeah. And really it was actually in the first year of being here, you know, we were still, I hadn't earned any dollars yet and I was still, still spending our, our hard <laughs> earned. Rons, our rents. Our rents. <laughs> South African ran. Oh, oh, pretty Bless worthless at currency. the time. <laughs> we strengthened a bit now, but yeah. when, when we arrived, it was 16 to 1. And uh, you yeah. know what it's like living in I know in the what city. it's like. It's, it is an expensive city. I don't care who you are. New York will find a way to fleece you. Yes. And uh, so the first year, we just like, you know, having a, a gym membership just wasn't an option. So just started running more. And doing all of my exercises in the park, getting to know the locals at the pull-up bars who would uh, tease me if I did any of the exercises wrong. <laughs> no, seriously. I, 
<laughs> I was training with these guys down in Windsor Terrace and I'm doing uh, <laughs> I'm doing tricep dips on the parallel bars. And the guy's like, yo Colin, what you doing? I'm like, I'm doing tricep dips. He's like, that ain't a dip. That's half a dip. That's an ip. <laughs> what you want? Half muscle? <laughs> When you do run, does it help you go over, do you go over your lines? No. Do you use it to just zone no. out? Zone out. Okay. Running is zoning out for me. I don't like to bring work to the tarmac. Okay. I just, I put in my music usually. What do you listen to? When I'm running? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty eclectic mix, but, but mostly hardcore. <laughs> um, hardcore rock? Hardcore yes. EDM? <laughs> uh, yes. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, EDM, rock, uh, hip hop. Okay. Uh, Alternative, anything that's like hard and heavy, you know, and, and gets them to push that little bit extra. You come from a country where you're very well known, to one where you're not. How have you been dealing with that? How is it, a, it? Is it great? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> See, I never wanted to be famous. I never set out to be yeah. well known. I set out to like do the work that I know how to do and uh -huh. have fun. The fame and everything that comes with it is just, mm -hmm. you know, it's a necessary byproduct. Yeah, let's go. Oh, okay. Through here. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I, say, I love, I love the anonymity. You can be whoever you want to yeah. be. You can reinvent yourself if you want to. Uh, we also have trails in the Central Park, just so you know. <laughs> yeah, I know, but like, are they as deserted as this? Well. I think not. <laughs> So do you have any plans of doing any major runs, route races or anything? Or is running more for you? No, I just want more for me. You know, at some stage, I've never even attempted a marathon or even a, a half marathon. Oh, bollocks, they closed it up. Bollocks! <laughs> this is a good stair workout. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of those around, but this is normally not close. Huh. So I would love to try the, um, the New York marathon. That would be very uh, so once in a lifetime. Yeah. But also multiple in a lifetime experience. <laughs> <laughs> it really allows me just to get all thoughts out of my head. Yeah. And I I tend to get very in my head. Yeah. So it's nice to have something. When I'm back home it's surfing. Okay. You know, I go and sit on my board at backline and you can just zone out. Yeah. But here in New York People surf, but <laughs> rock away. <laughs> rock away. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> well, have at it, guys. Enjoy that. <laughs> uh, I can forego the surfing until I get back home to beautiful Cape Town. Do you run when you're on set when you're filming something? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I was running. In, we shot that film in uh, Kingston, upstate. Departures. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, I was running along the railway tracks and in the middle of nowhere nice. along the rivers it's great I, I love it so we just went to the <laughs> to the road to the traffic light okay the come on let's go, let's go. <laughs> i have a camera in my hand i'm gonna use that as my excuse <laughs> like to end a run what do you like to do oh I go I go to the outdoor gym which is over there yeah and I do exercises down there yeah over there I go so, pull up bar oh, seven, here. pull up bar and I go parallel bars and I go, do that stuff sometimes I do Tai Chi okay I do the elements just to calm the mind that's really graceful way to end it was so great to chat to you <laughs> thank you so much yeah cool man thanks and for joining me on a run and we'll see you again soon, I guess. Your eyes have stopped watering. Have now. they stopped? Because I was like, I was crying. It was so emotional. <laughs> I'm not sure about my nostrils, though. <laughs> These are the hazards of running in winter. <laughs>